Hey everybody, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. It's been a minute since I made a video. I've been so busy, I've been on different things. I've been uh, welding some vintage bodybuilding equipment and, and working on a deck and trying to you know work on my trailer at the same time. And look at that beautiful paint job. See that? I finished the paint, the whole top half, a couple days ago. Let me show it to you. Let me turn my camera around. All right, check that out. So me and Mrs. West Coast, uh, about a week ago, we had a perfect day where the weather was amazing. And we came out and we rolled this whole thing. I'm telling you, it is a two person job. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but if someone can follow you around with a brush, just in case they need to touch things up with a little bit of uh, thinner on hand you know that's great so what i'm doing right here see that remember the video i made with the louver i had this custom louvered vent made at a hot rod shop in southern california and now i'm installing it because it's ready the paint's ready at the windows are going to be going in and um, i rolled and tipped it again like i said the alex seal oyster white which is a lot of a, a calmer color see how it's more of a of an off-white like a tan before it was cloud white it was too bright so anyways i really like the color but again i forgot to paint the gravel guard but that's okay because i'm going to make a video um painting the gravel guard because there was a lot of things that I did this time that I did not do before when I painted this that I want to talk about. And it's uh, I learned a lot in between the two paint jobs. So I want to give all my tips to uh, in case anyone wants to roll and tip. I'm telling you it's way easier than spraying. In my opinion, it turned out just as nice, if not nicer. I just wanted to give everybody a quick update on how this turned out. And I'm going to make a video about this whole thing I installed here. I'm going to start putting my windows in. Okay, well, I got all these pieces for the window. See that? It's all these like little flat pieces. And you got the center piece. Luckily, I do have one that I did get all put back together a long time ago, a couple years ago. Uh, when we first got the trailer, I took this apart, cleaned it really well. But I did recently take it apart when I redid the finish because I wanted it to... First I polished it. It looked like it was triple chrome plated. But then I decided I didn't want my trailer to look like that. So I dulled the finish on purpose. See that? And now I got all these pieces. They're... But anyways, let me set my camera up and show you exactly what... Because I had a lot of people saying, what are all these pieces for? So, so, to make your window open and close like this, there's like a little, you can bend this up, and there's a pin that goes through. And this whole piece, they slide together, and then you close them again. See that? But, now, so this is going to go from the outside, get pushed into the trailer. What these little flimsy pieces are... They actually go in, they go in right here and they hold the glass, they hold the glass in to the frame. You don't want to just stick the glass in with some kind of a glazing or butyl tape and then that's the only thing holding it. And this little support in the middle isn't going to hold it very strong by itself either. So we're going to have to take that off. There's actually four screws. We take this little support off. Okay. There we go. Now this little piece actually fits. There's like a lip. You gotta bend it over the lip. Okay, there's one. Put this guy on. Okay, so I got my window butyl tape right here, and I went ahead and I got an X-Acto knife, 
and I cut and I installed the window butyl tape. It's like a putty all around the window. See that? So now I'm going to go ahead and just put this directly onto my trailer. It's okay if it sticks out on the sides, that's good. That means it's getting squeezed in really nice. You could always remove the excess carefully. I'm just kind of pushing it in, getting it really, because it's like a, you know, like I said, it's like a putty and you can kind of almost ooze it on a little bit. Okay, once I get this in really good, I'm gonna go ahead and start my riveting. Okay, see, it's coming out on the bottom. That's good, I can trim that, so. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple rivets in right now. So I'm going to have to push the rivet through the putty, but that's okay. Okay, into the interior. I can feel it went through the elephant skin. There. That one in really nice. Okay, I'm going to continue my way around. Okay, there's two. Okay, I wanted to show you how I'm dealing with some of the problems on the windows. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to get them to, to fit in with this butyl tape behind it. And you have to like smash it in really good. Okay, I'm using clamps and stuff so that when I put my rivets in, they actually go through the fiberglass because a couple of them didn't. So... I had to uh, get some little bit longer rivets. I'll show you what I'm using. I have all different sizes, but I'm using eighth inch by three eighths because the three eighths is, is enough to go through the frame, through of the window, through the eighth inch fiberglass into the wood. See, I also had to drill because the inside of my uh, doorway right here, all around on the inside, Inside here is all new wood because the other stuff was all rotten. So this is all new wood and it's all been uh, fiberglassed really nice and filled. It's, it's super smooth. But I had to drill to make access for the rivet to go through. So what I'm doing is I'm, you know, pushing each one in really good. I'm going to put a rivet right there. And a rivet goes in here. But I want to push this really, really good because I want to make sure the rivet grasps both and it looks like I'm almost done with this window so what I'm doing you see that I got that rivet in all the way in I had to push it in nice and tight okay and I'm looking and I can see that I'm as close as I'm gonna get uh, to the fiberglass so now I can snap the rivet off okay I'm just gonna put it in my gun and snap it off. It usually takes a couple squeezes of the handle. One. There it is. It's off. And there's the rivet, nice and tight. All right, I'm putting my uh, center band, my belly band on. Now, I uh, never filled the holes, I left them, but there were some that I had to redrill. So anyways, they're lining up pretty good. So you just kinda dropping my rivet in, make sure. So see how that rivet, it just drops in. And then I'm gonna put my gun over it and I'm gonna pump it a couple times and it'll snap off. Now these are eighth inch rivets 
and the reason I'm using the 3 8 I want to have enough room to go through the uh, trim itself and then I'm also going through two pieces of fiberglass that together are about a quarter of an inch. If it mushrooms in the middle, okay, it's not going to hold your work or your piece of whatever you're trying to hold. It has to mushroom. When I say mushroom, when I squeeze this handle, it's making this little uh, aluminum rod go down and then it kind of also when it hits goes through it like mushrooms out the end of it squeeze it got to put pressure on it once twice right now it's using its own with leverage okay i'm actually expanding the aluminum rivet underneath i can feel it and it's going to snap off there it goes okay now watch this here's the piece that we don't need anymore see we don't need this anymore and the piece that looked like this okay went all the way through I can see it and then it mushroomed underneath so now the rivets doing its job let me show you up close if you look in there closely you can see right there see that that's the rivet expanded it, it's it's done its job so now this cannot this piece cannot come off physically it, unless this gets drilled out this will not come off so I'm gonna go ahead and just put all the rest of the rivets on you know around the side and around the back I'm going to go out. I'm going to use this 5 8 rivet. See this? So it's going to go all the way through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill this out. Okay, that's ready. Now, it's going through. But what you want to do is you want to give it a push. You want to push the aluminum because it does flex a little bit and we want it to go tight against our fiberglass. So I'm gonna hold it like that, pump this a couple times. Goes twice, three times, four times it broke off, okay. Now look, it's all the way flush, let me show you. That is exactly what we want. So these are all on. What you gotta do, you can't like start here and then put one like say up here and then put one over here. You can't do that. You gotta start here. Let's pretend we're starting fresh. I would put this one in, then this one in, then this one in because as it's pulling and you're putting them in, it's great. If you try to jump around, it's not gonna work. So I got all these in all these in i got some sanding to do i know and i gotta get the razor and cut the extra butyl tape off i know i got a couple up here now see how they're actually the window is bowing out so i have this big clamp on here see that because it remember this is not curved the trailer is curved but this is flat so at the top or at the bottom depending on where you start first you're gonna have an issue so i started at the bottom okay now I'm trying to pull the top in because if you look, there's a little gap in there. See that? So we're going to like push it in. We're going to keep riveting as we go and the butyl tape will squish. We'll trim it and then we're going to put our caulking on it. So I'm going to just tighten this a little bit more and I'm going to go ahead and start a rivet right there. Now I have these two giant clamps because they're going around the window. See that? They go up and they're able to clamp. I, I, I could not do this without these clamps. I'm telling you, you know, just invest in a bunch of clamps. I get, I got like, I got about, see these little guys right here? I buy these for like three bucks each. I must have 50 of them and I use them. So what you wanna do, clamp this, okay, tight, tight. 
I'm gonna drill here, I'm gonna move this over, the clamps over, the clamps over, until I can get it flat because I don't want to fight. I, I don't want the rivet to try to pull this material in because it's not gonna work. What's gonna happen, the rivet will expand. You'll go inside the trailer and you'll see in the, in the uh, elephant skin, you, you, nothing because the rivet's behind it. And you won't know if it's mushroomed out or not. If it's not mushroomed out, it's not gonna hold the, the aluminum to the fiberglass. So I'm using 5 8 rivets that go all the way through. However, you really wanna clamp this because you don't wanna use longer rivets and then try to, you know, force, make the rivets do all the work of pulling this down because most likely it won't work. So now that that's clamped, I'm gonna put my rivet in. Rivet too. So let's get our rivet gun. Okay, I got a rivet in place. I'm gonna start squeezing the trigger and it's gonna snap. You get all the way down, okay? All the way down. There. Okay, broke off and there it is, see it? So now our windows are in. We got one more to do right here. I'm gonna put a clamp right here to squeeze it really tight, put in my rivet. Hey, let me show you how it's looking. It's nighttime right now, but I wanted to show you. So I got all this rubber on today, okay? But I still gotta put the window in. Now I'm hearing that you should put the rubber on the window and then you put all that in. So I'll probably have to take all this off. So anyways, let me show you the glass. How amazing are those? They're all in, all the rivets are nice. And, um, so I got, you can see the butyl tape or the butyl putty. The, the butyl putty, it's inside here. What you do is now I'm gonna caulk it with a special adhesive to keep water out. It's really cool stuff, but I'm gonna wait. Uh, well, actually I got all four windows in, so I can do it now. Okay, great. So I got this guy in, okay. Um, and then this is gonna go in. And then this is in. Okay, I love it, it's just so cool. I gotta, you know, clean the glass a little better. And then uh, there's my louver that I made a video about. You guys should watch it, it's super cool. Watch the video. This, this is almost in, I just got a few more holes. And there's the back window, okay. Turned out great. You can see how all the, how it's all, you can see the butyl tape, like I'm saying, but that's okay. I'm gonna trim, it's, I'm gonna trim it all out and then I'm gonna caulk and seal it so that water can't get in. So there she is and got my bumper. I made a video about the bumper. You know, you gotta watch it. This bumper's great. Don't smash your corners anymore, seriously. I spent two years building this and I haven't even took it out once, but I'm getting closer and closer. And I wanted to let you know if you're new to the channel, uh, ask questions if you have any. Um, and if you've written to me and I have not gotten back to you yet, write to me again. Sometimes a couple days go by and I get, and, and I might miss something. So anyways, uh, this channel's about learning to do things yourself. There's not one thing in any of the videos I made of any of the projects that I did, or we, if you joined me, then we did them together. But there's not one thing that I think I did that none of you couldn't do yourself. So uh, seriously, everything is just broken down into steps. So all right, everybody, take care. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon.